The Riti is a less common but flexible opening that controls the center with the knight before committing a pawn. Nf6 develops the knight toward the center and controls the d5 and e4 squares. G3 prepares to fianchetto the light squared bishop to g2, where it will control the center from the long diagonal. This prepares the bishop for development. This fianchettos the bishop by placing it on a powerful diagonal. This pins a knight, which restricts its mobility. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling king side tends to be safer because the king is further from the center. The bishop is ready to be developed to an active square. It is the last book move. This is a fair move. It is good. That's what I would have recommended. It is best. This develops a knight off its starting square, getting it into the action. It is good. That's not a mistake, but it's not the best move either. It is good. This prepares the bishop for development. It is best. That's fine. It is good. This develops a bishop off its starting square, getting it into the action. It is excellent. This activates a knight by developing it off of its starting square. It is excellent. This is the strongest option. It is best. This develops a queen off its starting square, getting it into the action. It is excellent. Castling develops a rook, while also moving the king to safety. Castling to the same side of the board as the opponent tends to lead to less sharp positions as compared with opposite side castling. It is excellent. This is a fair move. It is good. This develops a rook off its starting square, getting it into the action. It is good. A solid choice. It is excellent. That's not a mistake, but it's not the best move either. It is good. This connects the rooks, which helps them coordinate together in the future. It is good. Right on target. It is best. This develops a rook off its starting square, getting it into the action. It is excellent. That's a sensible reply. It is excellent. That's fine. It is good. This is a fair move. It is good. This is not the best. It is an inaccuracy. One of the best moves. It is excellent. This is an equal trade. It is best. Takes back. It is best. This overlooks an opportunity to reveal an attack on a pawn. This allows the opponent to take an open file with a rook. It is an inaccuracy. This strikes at the center, countering the opponent's ability to grab space. It is good. A very strong play. It is excellent. That's not a mistake, but it's not the best move either. It is good. A solid choice. It is excellent. The knight now occupies an outpost, a secure square in the opponent's territory. It is excellent. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. It is best. Takes back. It is good. There were worse moves, but also something much better. It is an inaccuracy. Very precise. It is best. This mobilizes the knight, allowing it to control more of the board. It is best. This threatens to fork pieces. It is an inaccuracy. After all captures, this is an equal trade. This is the only move that works. This stops the opponent from being able to fork pieces. It is a great move. Recaptures. It is best. This is not the right idea. It is an inaccuracy. This misses a much better move. It is a mistake. This overlooks an opportunity to increase a bishop's scope by moving it to a better square. It is an inaccuracy. The rooks can see each other now, allowing them to provide mutual defense. It is best. Balanced neither player ever had an advantage. That game was pretty competitive. The opening was balanced. That was an incredible middle game by both players.